guys, welcome back to another video inside of my survival challenge world. I am Zuri, and if you guys doesn't see my first five video, I think you guys should be really watch it if you guys like it. And uh, and I am going to be telling you guys what's going on here and. Uh, and I am just starting the video where I ended last time and in the last episode basically I was fighting a load of blades and now they are all spawning in a blade spawner but luckily I am invisible so those guys could not hurt me and I don't think I will be even needed to explain the rule of the easy craft every day and uh, really you guys should be really watch the first uh, five video and uh, you guys really should be started at the like survival challenge video one or something so let's just taking out this blade for now and uh, I got a seven blades rod from all that blades killing so not bad and uh, there is also skeleton over there the that normal skeleton that shoots arrow is actually pretty dangerous and annoying and uh, let me just kill this blaze over here that actually is a pretty funny way to killing blades just like punch them from underneath because i don't want the blaze rod to dropping down and that blaze rod just burned also, let's see, we got some more blades spawning, so we could be just getting like a whole stack of blades rod, let's just, let's just go for a enderman hunt, and there is also a magma tube over there, and I do not want to waste my iron sword on a magma tube, and I got 11 blades rod, so let's just keep killing blazes until this blade, this iron sword break. And I was still having 11 blades rod because that blade just dropped not. And I just see three more blades spawning in, so let's just kill them all. And I just got a glowstone dusk, and I and uh and the number of blaze rod that we have is 13 if you guys could see and i know it's really dark in the nether and i know the screen is like almost white or something and this is trying and taking out this blaze and i just got 14 blaze rod and there's also a billions and billions of wither skeleton chasing me and they just busted my sword Maybe let's just killing one of them with my stone sword and I was just getting a blaze rod for that because that blaze having a very low health. Also let's just get like 16 king blaze rod and let's, oh, let's just a whole stack of it. So let's just getting a stack of blaze rod and then just kill ourselves because keep inventory on and I shouldn't be worrying about dying because keep inventory on. And come on, are you going to drop a blaze rod? Okay, so that blade did drop a blaze rod. And uh, the nether is actually a pretty dangerous place. And just see how much mob is just come and attack me. Also, let's just die in the lava because keep inventory on. So we will be not not lost their stuff also let's just sleep because it's night time oh i actually turned the daylight cycle oh okay so i turned the daylight cycle off and i was just making a very noob mistake because i turned the daylight cycle off so let me let me i can't i can't i can't turn the day back in the morning but we could be still turn the day back in the morning by using host option and i got four pumpkin which we could be make an iron golem we if we want to but we do run out of iron so maybe we have to be go for a mining trip in this video 
But we don't really need it. And let's just go and mine some normal stone. And I also don't like to stealing thing from the villager. And uh, let's just fly over here to get just for getting a stone. And uh, I just like having a little bit of feeling that I am going to be having a mushroom because mushroom is actually a a pretty good thing, and I am going to be catch it in in like uh, in about in about now. I think I am going to be catching a mushroom now, and I don't really know what I am going to be doing in this video. And uh, all the villager is going to die because I haven't seen any of the villager for a while, and I just lost uh, where is my house. Even that I having like that that giant redstone pile up there, and I was still getting lost. Where is my house? Ah, uh, what a noob! And now let's just go and grab our two and pearl, and let's just. Craft ourselves some blaze powder. Maybe just craft them all into blaze powder. And I got 32 blaze powder, which is pretty good actually. And now what we have to do is finding the Eye of Ender, which I believe I could be found somewhere around here. Okay, so I found it where is the Eyes of Ender was. So I am just going to be keep the eye of the ender for now because I don't want to waste them all. And I just realized I got a bunch of wood and cobblestone, which I said to you guys I will be making a a house by myself. So I don't really know what I need to do then. And now I think we should be making a making a stone sword. And go outside to hunt some Enderman. And uh, let's just keep turn the invisible on. And let's just go and flying across the whole world just for searching an Enderman. So I am just going to be grabbing my map for now. And no map here. And no map here. Come on, where's my map gone? Maybe I just lost it somewhere, and uh, I don't that actually care about my map. And uh, let's just killing this spider and uh, just fly everywhere to searching the Enderman. And uh, there is just zombies spawning all over the place. And uh, no Enderman, absolutely awful. Also, there is a giant lava pit over here. I think I could be getting some lava from here, but but I don't need lava anymore. Also, there is a bunch of skeleton and spider over the place, but still no Enderman. And I found a witch also, which is not going to be help me a lot actually. And uh, let's just keep flying across the whole world to just searching an Enderman. And is it any Enderman anywhere? Nope. So, so there is no Enderman here, no Enderman here. And I think I am just flying around in circle. And flying around in circle is not the most funniest thing in the world, actually. And, uh, and, uh, I was just trying to search an Enderman, actually. And is it Enderman even spawn in the desert biome? I'm sure they do. And, uh, let me just cutting ahead of the video to just, uh, finding an Enderman. And, uh, do I actually need to do that? Nope, it's not a really big matter. Maybe let's just killing some hosta- <gasps> I found the Enderman! Hello there, Enderman! Hello! And I found another one, so that's actually pretty lucky. So let's just kill this Enderman. Come on, Enderman, just fight like a man. And uh, he does drop an Under Pearl, though. And uh, there is another Enderman, so hello there, I'm going to kill you. Just fight me! Just fight me, Enderman! Fight like a man! 
Okay, so, ooh, I am actually getting pretty lucky. I get two Undam Pearl for a two Underman kill. Like, only having like 50% to dropping an Undam Pearl and uh, I just getting two by killing two Underman. That's actually pretty lucky. Maybe I just, maybe it's because that I fly across the whole world and, and uh, I don't know how that's the Minecraft uh, max work because because there is a lot of math involved in Minecraft, like uh, how many percent that uh, this mob going to be dropped this or this mob going to be dropped that. And I just found myself a pretty nice cave over here. Maybe it's the time for me to mine some iron in here. And it is still actually pretty dark around here. And uh, I am just going to be searching some iron, then leave. And I do getting pretty lucky though, I found the two iron, which, oh, actually there is more iron. And uh, let's just go down very, very far just to getting one iron. And uh, let's just grab the last iron because if we don't grab it, that's actually a bit of waste. And uh, I think I just got all the iron and let's check how many we got. So we got five iron. Which is enough to making two iron sword. I don't really need a lot of armor because because I can just set myself invisible and no one else could beat me because I'm invisible, so no one can hurt me actually. And let's just find where is my house. And uh, I am a kind of noob because because there is like a big pile of redstone on there and I still can't find my house. Maybe it's because it's too dark or I will be just turned into morning but uh, if I turn into morning it will be decrease my chance of finding the enderman and I just got a four eyes of ender which is pretty good actually and uh, let's just go outside and searching for some more Enderman and uh, I believe I could be found one and uh, are you an Enderman? Nope and are you an Enderman? Nope How about you? Are you an Enderman? Nope Looks like they are all not Enderman and uh, I do find in this pretty interesting cave actually and uh, it's just pretty cool if you guys like uh, ask everyone in the world and uh, looks like there is a villager just trying to running off somewhere and let's just go back with the place where I gathering up lava because here is just like the mine place that I found the Enderman, I think. And I think I am just saying Enderman for the whole video and... Uh, oh, I, I just found another one. So let's just try and uh, kill it. Because uh, killing Enderman is not the best thing in the world, but uh, he does become angry at me and uh, I have to be very careful to not uh, knock him in the water. And I know it's the edge of the world and I just got like three Andam Pro for three Andam Q. And I am do getting like super lucky for finding those Underman and getting Andam Pro. And is it any more Enderman around here? And also one more thing. Normally when I was finding Enderman, like I was like killing like five or something and it just dropped zero Enderman Pro. And uh, also the same way work for Blazes. And let's just check if there's any more Enderman in the Mushroom Island. So there is no Enderman on the Mushroom Island. Maybe, oh, I found the Underman, so, oops, he's just teleporting away and away. Uh, but I still found you, just fight like a man, beast. Beast, just fight it like a man, okay. And he just dropped another Undam Pearl, and everyone is also the time for today's episode. And I'll be see you guys in the next episode, so bye, and I know I was invisible, but bye.